Andre, it's a great pleasure having you here today. Thank you for taking the time to be at Data Innovation Summit and also doing this interview. So before we dive into the questions related to your presentation, maybe you can give me more information about your profile and your area of expertise. Sure. So I'm a data scientist at Pinterest. I've been there for about four and a half years, which means I joined when it was about 50 people. Now we're over a thousand. And so it's been a long journey of doing a lot of different things, sort of implementing A-B testing is what I talked about today, but also doing a bunch of analyses on what our users are doing, what our growth looks like, characterizing user behavior, working on ads ranking, all sorts of things. Yeah. Very exciting field, very interesting, and also being part of Pinterest. Uh, so uh, you're actually building a culture of experimentation. So uh, what are the benefits of building this culture within uh, one company? So I think without a culture of experimentation, whether you have an A-B testing framework or not, you're not getting the benefit of sort of understanding whether your decisions are making sense yep. and also getting the direction of, hey, I built this thing and it worked and I built this thing and it didn't work. Maybe let's build more things like that first one and fewer things like the second one. I think having a culture of testing really allows you to iterate faster and sort of learn from both your mistakes and your successes and move faster overall, even if experimenting on any given thing adds a little bit of friction each time. Yeah. So I think the culture is really important to get that norm established. Yeah. You measure what you're shipping, you don't ship stuff that's down. Yeah. We want to know what sort of gains we're getting, because even if you know this thing is an improvement, if you see your growth double tomorrow, is that the magnitude of improvement you were expecting, or did you just get a whole bunch of spammers? And so understanding via A-B testing to the benefit you expect from a shipment is useful, even if you know you're going to ship yeah. something. So, what is the main challenge when you impl implement this, uh, try to implement this culture? Sorry? What's the main challenge in the implementation? I think the challenge, I mean, there's many challenges. I think it does add a little bit of friction to run an A-B test. And especially because we require people to write down what they're doing and why. When you're running the experiment yourself, you already know those things. And so, the benefit is to your future self not to your current self mm -hmm. and so at the time you're like oh man i have to write down all this crap about what i'm doing when in fact in two months you'll be like oh my gosh i'm so glad i wrote down what that experiment yeah. was yeah. that i did because otherwise i wouldn't have numbers yeah. Yeah. and so it's sort of convincing people and getting them over the hump of doing it once and seeing that benefit later so that they sort of become that future self that seeing the benefit yeah so uh, actually by writing these down creating kind of checklists or something uh, this is how you avoid uh, uh, overcome the challenges and make sure the mistakes that can come along? Or? Yeah, it's sort of where, I mean, we've written down a bunch of things. We've written down sort of the processes and checklists that help us avoid going wrong. And then for every experiment, we also write down, hey, I'm going to try a new user sign up flow and this is what I expect to happen and this is what I'm doing. So that Pinterest is growing so fast. Yeah. So what do you think you can expect in the nearest future when it comes to A-B testing? In the near future, I mean, I think we're constantly sort of expanding the set of things we're interested in. So when I launched the A-B testing framework, we didn't have any revenue at all. And now we do. And so I added a bunch of revenue statistics to the framework, but now we have video ads and app ads. And so a lot of it is sort of, what are the important things we need to be tracking that we can add? How should we be tracking in new ways? And also, how can we present them in a way that people can actually make useful decisions from, as opposed to like, here's a laundry list of 4,000 metrics, like choose what you want to do. We need to be able to sort of highlight the important decisions. Well, it's, uh, it sounds very exciting and uh, at the same time. So thank you for contributing to the field and sharing your knowledge today. Thanks and, for having me. Yeah, it has been a true pleasure, truly. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks.